In the beginning, transformed by truth. In the opening verse of the Bible, we find a profound statement that sets the stage for the transformative power of truth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Join me today on a journey into the foundational truth that has the power to transform our lives. First, let's explore three key aspects of how the truth revealed in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 can lead us to a transformative encounter with God. The Sovereignty of God in Creation Genesis 1 1 In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The opening words declare the sovereignty of God as the creator of all things. The Hebrew word for created, bara, signifies God's unique ability to bring something into existence out of nothing. This truth establishes God's authority and control over the entire cosmos. A.W. Tozer, reflecting on God's sovereignty, stated, What comes into our minds when we think about God is the most important thing about us. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 reminds us, Have you never heard, have you never understood, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth? There is an intentionality in God's design. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In this act of creation, we see God's intentional design. Every aspect of the universe reflects his wisdom and his purpose. The truth embedded in Genesis 1-1 teaches us that our lives are not accidental. We are intentionally designed by a loving creator. It was Rick Warren who beautifully encapsulated that truth saying, you are not an accident, your parents may not have planned you, but God did. And Psalm 139 verses 13 and 14 remind us, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Genesis 1-1 really is the start of a call to transformed living. As we acknowledge God as the creator, we recognize our dependence on him. The truth here invites us to live in alignment with God's design, acknowledging his lordship over our lives. And embracing this truth leads to transformed living and a renewed sense of purpose. John Piper, he emphasizes the transformation that comes, stating the unwasted life is lived in conscious dependence on God. And we should always depend on God, not on the things of the world. Romans 12.2 reminds us, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. As we delve deeper into the truth of the gospel, let's listen to John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is a profound statement that helps us in understanding the pivotal role of truth in our lives. There's three aspects of this truth embodied in the Word that have the power to transform us. There's the eternal foundation of truth. 
John 1 1 in the beginning the word already existed the word was with God and the word was God in these opening words of John's gospel the term word which is logos in Greek encapsulates the divine expression of God himself the word is not merely a collection of letters it's the eternal and unchanging foundation of truth and just as a building stands firm on its foundation our lives find stability and purpose in the eternal truth of God Psalm 119 verse 89 your word O Lord is eternal it stands firm in the heavens there is an illuminating power of truth present here. John chapter 1 verse 4 The Word gave life to everything that was created, and His life brought light to everyone. The writer of the Gospel of John continues to reveal the transformative nature of truth, declaring that the Word was life, and this life brought light to humanity. Truth is not merely an intellectual concept, it's a source of illumination that dispels the darkness of ignorance, confusion and sin. The Word, Jesus Christ, illuminates the path to salvation and righteousness. C.S. Lewis aptly describes this illumination, saying, I believe in Christianity as I believe that the sun has risen, not only because I see it, but because by it I see everything else. Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Here's the transforming power of truth. John chapter 1 verse 14 So the word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory the glory of the Father's one and only Son. The climax of John's introduction is the revelation that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. This is the incarnation of truth in the person of Jesus Christ. The transformative power of truth is not abstract, it's personal, it's relational. Jesus, the embodiment of truth, transforms lives by his sacrificial love, grace and the redemption he offers. It was Dietrich Bonhoeffer who emphasized this transformation by saying, Being a Christian is less about cautiously avoiding sin than about courageously and actively doing God's will. As we reflect on the foundational truths of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and John chapter 1 verse 1, let them be a reminder of God's sovereignty intentional design and the call to transformed living. Our lives they find meaning and purpose when we acknowledge that God is our creator and may this truth guide us into a deeper relationship with the one who spoke the world into existence. Let's recognize the eternal foundation, illuminating power and transforming nature of truth found in the word Jesus Christ. Embrace the truth, for it's not a concept to be debated, but a person to be known and followed. May the transformative power of truth guide our lives, renew our minds, and lead us into a deeper relationship with the Word made flesh. In the name of our Creator and Redeemer, and in the name of Jesus, the truth that transforms, may God help us to truly be transformed in the way in which we live that we might bring honour and glory to him, and that we may be bold and witness to others about the truth that we have already discovered for ourselves, that we can be forgiven when we repent and place our trust in Jesus as our Lord and as our Saviour. Please remember to click on the like, subscribe and notify buttons before you go. I hope you've been blessed and encouraged by what you've seen and heard. And if you have time, why not watch another of our videos before you go. God bless. Bye for now.